Hey, I had to talk to my girl this morning, my nigga. Real niggas know what happened. All second verse. I'm feeling like the world is on my shoulder, God, please give me the strength to stand It's a cold world and I ain't freezing out this bitch, but damn Like nowadays niggas will murk you over Instagram Family or the ones in your circle be out to get you now Damn, guess that's why I don't trust a soul I done seen niggas switch roles, be live claiming bros Soon as one end up locked, the other trying to hit his hoe Won't even send him no guap, he barely surviving off the swole And Lord knows I've been feeling like my heart froze Feeling like I'm blindfolded, rolling down this dark road Mama praying on my soul Cause she know that I'm close Still can see her face the day she caught me loading my toast How could I tell her I'm a part of what she hated the most That make her feel as if she failed once my daddy got ghosts When in reality What up y'all, it's your man Fat Boy checking the fuck in I wanna chop up this Source Top 20 Battle Rappers A 2018 list The shit passed the eye test Like visually, just looking at the list You're like, alright I can see the names on this list deserving to be on this list. Obviously, every fan gonna have their own opinion on who should be where. I'm not here to debate specifically who should be where. Like, I'm doing my top 20 list right now. I'm gonna do my arguing when Champion does their arguing. You will, stay tuned for my videos. You'll see me get involved at that point. I'm just going over the sources list. So, whatever you feel about this list, don't take it to heart on based on what I say off of this shit, my nigga. I'm just chopping up what I see. All right, so. The champion of the year list has three people on it that this list does not. The champion of the year list has Arsenal on the list, Ill Will on that list, and Hollow the Don on that list. This one doesn't. This one has T-Top, Shuni the Rapper, and Bill Collector on the list. Now, off rip, are you mad at them three names being on the list? And are you mad that the other three names weren't on the list? To be honest, you could actually interchange the three names, and it probably won't make much of a difference based on the fact that um, none of these niggas is going to win the actual top spot, the interchangeable names. However, I want to completely start off with the fact that not having ill will on this list right here is flat out fucking disrespectful because i don't if you're just kind of passing by as a casual fan which is how i'm viewing this list i can understand the people on this list but not having ill will on it to publish in a in a, in a publicized article is kind of disrespectful ill will had a really good year and if you was asking around depending on who you asking you niggas didn't put ill will on here that's kind of crazy bro all right so Let's get into this list. Number one is K-Shine. Number two, Geechee Gotti. Um, you can interchange either one of them names, and I feel like most people not going to be mad. Here's where the shit get, start getting crazy, like right off the rip. Iron Solomon, New Jersey Twerk, Pat Stay, JC, Rum Nitty. I see a name missing from this area that should be in here. We're going to get to that because it's fur, further down the list, way further down the list than it should be. Twerk should not be in that top three to seven range. He just shouldn't be. But Iron Solomon, Pat Stay, JC, Rum Nitty, I feel like you can interchange any of them names within that top seven and relatively, for the most part, people are going to be okay with that. The shit starts shaking up at number eight. Tay Rock is at number eight. Now, me personally, I got Tay Rock two and one this year. That's another video for another fucking time. We ain't debating that. My argument with Tay Rock being number eight is <laughs> most people in the culture got Tay Rock losing all three battles this year. Now, I don't, like I said, but most people do. Him sitting at number eight is kind of crazy. Number nine is Verb. Verb has a significant win over Mook. But if the fans or the culture is saying that Mook was ass, Mook was trash, and even coming into the battle, they were saying that shit. How is beating Mook, although iconic in battle rap, how is beating Mook enough to put you in the top ten for the year? 
I'm not understanding that at all. We know he lost to Pat State. Like, like I just, I just, it just don't make sense, fam. Uh, number ten DNA. DNA didn't have a super crazy year, so to put him in the top ten is a little eh. I feel like now they're just trying to position names based on what information they collected. They got information from fans, bloggers, and artists outside of battle rap. So, again, I'm looking at this list as like you just the casual fan. So, I understand how this list got put together, but it is obvious. T-Top, who got 30 by Ill Will, who ain't on the list, is sitting at number 11. T-Top ain't have a, a good year by T-Top standards. Like, he's battled more the past couple years. So, to have him at number 11 is a little eh. Number 12 and 13 is A Ward and Loso. I feel like when the champion of the year list is done, they will definitely both probably end up in the top 10, somewhere in that 7 to 10 range, both of them. Number 14 is Shuni the Rapper. This is what I want to say about this. It's a, it's a head nod, you know what I mean, to the ladies. I feel like by putting her on this list, number one. Number two, I feel like slapping her at number 14 is just putting her on the list. If she had a really good year, which was not hard to do to dominate female battle rap based on the fact that female battle rap wasn't super duper competitive this year, she would be higher on this list. If you had a really good year in female battle rap, you would be higher up this list. Slapping her at 14 is just kind of crazy. Knowing that Shuni just had an hard year, she should definitely be further down this list. But I don't I don't have a problem with her making this list. I don't mind the female head nod to the ladies. That's cool. I'm going to explain why in a second, though. Danny Myers at 15 is probably going to move up this list for sure when they do champion of the year. Sitting at number 16, though. John John. John John had a crazy fucking year. These niggas got John John sitting at 16. When I know for a fact, he probably going to end up in that top eight somewhere. At least top eight. Number 17 is B-Dot, which is probably not too far off. He going to end up probably somewhere in that range from 15 to 20. Same thing can be said for Shotgun Sug at number 18. He probably is going to end up in that range somewhere in there when champion of the year list is done. I have zero problem with Bill Collector being on this list. I'm, I'm, I'm going to admit that I might be a little surprised that he didn't make champion of the year list. He didn't battle a lot of top heavy names in battle rap this year outside of A-Ward. But fam, Bill Collector had a really good year this year. I'm glad to see Bill Collector back in his bag. Math Hoffa, Math Hoffa rounds out the top 20 for the source. Math, in my opinion, went one and three, one and two in that little uh, three for three back to back weekend shit. And then he got smoked by Av. I mean, he got smoked out the building along with his own chokes. So him being on either list is a little crazy to me. But okay, it's it's at the it's at the 20 mark. So. He could have just been on or off the list. So I guess in that aspect, that makes sense. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this list. Is it way off? <clears throat> Did they get it for the most part right? Do you feel like the list is right? Um, should the source be doing lists at all? Because if you're not actually following and you're getting the input, the input from other sources, then you're not doing your due, di due diligence and reporting on this shit the way that you should be. You're not in deep detail with who really did what, and you should have been able to compile this list on your own if you're writing publicized articles for people to see. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me ask a question, though, before I wrap this shit up. The culture. When people say the culture, do you think battle rap or do you think hip-hop? Because when I hear the culture... I think about battle rap. I know they go hand in hand. Battle rap is part of the hip hop culture. But you're seeing a lot more nowadays in mainstream media 
uh, the, the term the culture being used. I'm not saying it was never used. I'm saying more often than, than, than we used to at this point, at least to me. When you hear the culture, do you think about mainstream media or do you think about hip hop, should I say? Or do you think about battle rap and that's it? Like, comment, subscribe for the third time. It's your man, Fat Boy, signing the fuck off. I respect the culture. I advise you niggas to do the same. When you hear my voice stop, nigga, that's when that beat drops.